What's up, you friggin' geniuses? So, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to order decimals from least to greatest. All right, so let's jump into this example. Now, first thing we should do is look at all these numbers and see if there's any one that stands out as being either the smallest or the biggest, all right? So, we can just look at the whole numbers to begin with. So, here we have a four, here we have a four, we got a four, here we have a five, and here we have a four. Okay, so, great, I don't even have to do anything. I already know this is my largest number. How do I know that? Well, because there's a five right here for the whole number, right, in the ones place. The rest of these have a four, right? Four will never be bigger than five. So five is automatically our biggest number. So I'm just gonna write that down here already. 5.40, okay, that's our largest or greatest number. All right, so we're done with this one, right? Now all we have to do is compare these four other numbers. And a useful way of doing that is by listing them in a column, okay? But you also have to line them up by their place value. So let me show you what I mean. So first number right here, 4.2, okay? So I'll just write 4.2, okay? Next number we have here is 4.002. So I'm gonna write it right underneath it, 4.002. Two. Okay, so you see how my numbers are aligned, right? The decimal points are aligned. Now, my next number right here is 4.02. Okay, so 4.02. And then lastly, we have this number right here, 4.202. 4.202. Now, before we start comparing these, one other thing you can do is, all right, you see how this decimal number and this decimal number each have three decimal places and this one only has two and this one only has one, right? Now something that's gonna help us compare these is if they all have three decimal places, okay? So in order to kind of fill in the gaps, if you will, you can just write zeros there, okay? And I'll write a zero here and here. All right, great, now they all have three decimal places, right? So now it's gonna be a lot easier to compare all of these to one another. Also, the reason I can just add these zeros to the end like that is because when you add zeros to the end, right? These are at the end of a decimal number. It doesn't change the value of the number. I could have a million zeros over here, right? And go forever. doesn't matter. It doesn't change the value of the number and they are referred to as trailing zeros, okay? So trailing zeros don't change the value of your number. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, now we can start comparing these numbers. All right, so if we wanna list these from least to greatest, we have to figure out which one is the smallest or the least, right? And the way we're gonna do that is by going through each of these numbers and comparing one place value at a time. So we're gonna start in the ones place, and then if we have to, we'll go to the tenths place. And if that doesn't help us, then we'll go to the hundredths place. And if that doesn't help us, then we'll go to the thousands place, okay? And then you just keep going down the line like that. So starting here in the ones place, you can see that there's just a bunch of fours, right? So that doesn't help us. So this is the ones place, right? So now we have to go to the tenths place. So now we have to compare the tenths place and figure out which one is the smallest. Well, let's see, we have a two here, we have a zero here, we have a zero here, and we have a two here, okay? So since we have a zero here and a zero here, those are gonna be the smallest, okay? So now we just have to pick between these two, right? So in order to do that, we have to go to the next column, right? So now we have to go to the hundredths column and compare those. So I'm comparing this one and this one, right? So I have a zero here, I have a two here. Zero is obviously less than two. So that means this one right here is the smallest number, 4.002. All right, so I'm gonna write that down here as my smallest number, 4.002. Okay, so we're done with this number. Now, which one is the next smallest number? Well, that would be this one right here, right? Because again, we already went through it, but these all have fours in the, in the ones place, so that means we have to compare the tenths place. So this one has a two, this one has a zero, and this one has a two. So which one is the smallest one? This one right here, right? 4.020. So I'll write that down here. 4.020. All right, great. So now we're done with this one. 
All right, now which one is the smallest between the two remaining numbers that I have? So I have this one up here and this one at the bottom, right? All right, so again, they both have a four right here in the ones place, so that doesn't help me. So we again have to go to the tenths place. So there's a two up here, there's a two up here, okay? So again, they're the same, so that doesn't help me. So again, I have to go to the next decimal place to the hundredths place, right? So up here, I have a zero, and down here, I also have a zero. So they're still the exact same, so that doesn't help me. So again, I have to go to the next column to the thousandths place. Okay, so up here at the top, I have a zero, and then down here at the bottom, I have a two. So zero is obviously smaller than two, so that means this one up here is the next smallest, so 4.200. So 4.200. But if you remember, I added these zeros in on my own. I only put them there so I could compare them to the rest of the numbers. So actually, I can take these out, okay? So instead of 4.200, I really just have 4.2, okay? So that means I can also get rid of these two zeros down here. And also, I forgot to do it to the first number. Remember this number right here, 4.020. I also added this zero on my own. So that means I can actually just get rid of it. So here, I really just have 4.02, right? So 4.02. So I forgot about that one, so let's get rid of that zero right there also. Okay, now, lastly, we just have this number left, right? 4.202. So by process of elimination, that number goes right here. 4.202. All right, guys, so as you can see, our decimal numbers are finally listed from least to greatest. All right, so this would be your answer. All right, guys, so that's how you order them. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.